in your dreams I killed in your dreams I fulfilled my desire Come on, mister. They're, they're too tight and it's just not funny anymore. Do you want to know the trick to getting the cuffs off? No. I'm done with your tricks. I, I just want to go home. Come on. Just answer the question, all right? There's a trick. Do you want to know the trick? No, I don't want to know the trick. I, I don't care about your damn tricks, you sick bastard. Do you want to know the trick? All right, already. Well, what's the trick? You have to have the key. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving. Oh, no. You only touch me when I say you can touch me. Just let me go. T take these cuffs off of me, you sick fuck. Sick. Is that what you think I am? What? I played movies for you? I gave you some drinks? I showed you my best trick. And all you can call me is sick? You haven't seen sick yet. <laughs> Don't you know who my father is? <laughs> Don't you think I know who your father is? <laughs> my friends in Chicago control your father, all right? <laughs> your daddy works for my friends. So no, <laughs> no, 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 no. You won't tell anybody anything. Because if you do, your father will be at the bottom of Lake Michigan with concrete blocks on his feet. Are you threatening my father? <laughs> You're not really in a position to ask any questions. <laughs> Get your hands off of me. <laughs> oh, stop. <clears throat> I don't know I like to do it this way. No. But in your case, no. this might be fun. I think you'd have air in this thing. Look at it, it's fucking ancient. This stuff is great. You sure you don't want to try any? No, nah, man. My uh, pops would kill me if I even went close to drugs. But did you drink? What's the difference? Well, to him, there's a big difference. I mean, uh, booze is legal and drugs aren't. Well, there was a point in time where booze was more illegal than drugs. 
It doesn't matter. Anyway, would you want to show me way the hell out here? Yeah, the barn. You won't believe your eyes. Okay, then show me. How did you even hear about this place? Oh, I heard about it from Gary and Beth. Long way from home. Oh, it'll be worth it, don't you worry. Well, I I'm gonna trust you, but this better be good. Where? Back there behind the wall. What am I looking for? Go check it out, I'll be right there. I don't see anything. I'm coming. Luke, what are you up to? <laughs> that was for Mr. John Wayne Gacy. Don't fuck with Mr. Gacy. You've been warned. Gacy? You mean that clown? Yeah. Cops, and you're gonna tell them everything. Get up! Come here! Get up! Come on, let's go! Hold on. This is it. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. Well, thankfully, your father died with some money saved away. He loved you. Don't you forget that. I know it. I know he might have been tough on you, but he loved you. I destroyed him, Mama. You ain't killed your father, John. 
That was cirrhosis of the liver. The doctors even told us that alcohol killed your daddy. And I don't want you thinking nothing different. You know I didn't do anything to that boy, right? You're a good boy, John, with a good heart. I know you didn't do nothing. Let's just put all that behind us. Now, how about you show me the inside of that house? All right, come on. Got a lot of work to do. Oh. I cannot wait to see the inside. I can't wait for you to see it. This is so exciting. Yes, it is. Oh. John, I just, I just can't believe this. Yep, and you've got your own room. My own room in this beautiful house. Hey, mister. Um, mister. Yes, yeah, son? Um, you just moving in? <laughs> I sure am. Oh, okay. Um, well, I was just wondering because I do a lot of, um, odd jobs around here. And I was wondering if you might need help moving your stuff into the house. What's your name, son? Bobby. Bobby Walker. It is very nice to meet you, Bobby. My name is John, John Wayne Gacy. John Wayne? Never met anyone named John Wayne. Yeah. Mama named me after a cowboy. <laughs> so, Bobby Walker, how much do you charge for your services? 50 cents an hour. I'd say there's about four hours worth of work on the moving truck. So tell you what. I'll pay you $4 if you promise to work twice as hard as you usually do. Um, th thank you, Mr. Wayne. No, I I'm sorry, M Mr. Mr. Gacy. But I want to see you sweat. I'm not paying that kind of money if you don't work for it. OK. It's a deal, then. All right. Thank you, Mr. Gacy. Truck arrives at 1 PM. See you soon, Bobby, all right? Well, you certainly are hungry. Well, slow down there, big boy. I really worked you to the bone today, didn't you? Uh, um, no, not really. He just offered me double and I wanted to impress him. I never know what other work he throws at me. Okay, so let me get this straight. If I pay you more allowance, you're gonna do more around the house, right? Sure. <laughs> so who is he anyway? Well, tell us a little bit about him. Where's he from? I mean, the two of you must have talked a lot today. Well, he's uh, from Iowa, but he grew up in Chicago, and he wants to start his own construction business, so he might need me on the weekends to help him work. Mm. Wow. An entrepreneur, huh? Mm -hmm. Any kids your age to play with? Um, nah. He just lives with his mom and his sister. Oh, well. Sounds like he's a nice guy. I mean, if he takes care of his mom like that. Don't get any ideas, honey. What? Your mother is not moving into this house with us. Very funny, Howard. May I be excused? Are you actually going to leave some food for the rest of us? OK, Dad, it's all yours. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, my 
<laughs> Come on, Anthony. Don't you want to play? <laughs> Wake up. Oh, pretty please? Come on. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> it's not so bad, is it? Come on. There we go. That's right. It's not so bad, is it? <laughs> Come on. I'm not done yet. Bobby? Bob? Hey, you forget something? <laughs> yeah. How can I forget my money? You all right? You look like you've seen a ghost. A ghost? No. I'm fine. All right. Good night, hon. Up for you real nice. You even got a TV across from the bed. You got a picture on the nightstand. You're a good boy, John. Bobby, get dressed. We're late. Hey, you forget already? We're going camping this weekend. How could you forget our camping trip, hon? Wait, 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 that, that, that's this weekend? Yeah, silly. It's this weekend. Now get on up, pack your bag. Dad's already got the stuff together. He's waiting on you to help. Come on, get up. <laughs> yeah, I've been in probably every state park around here. Really? Oh yeah, and lots in Wisconsin too. It's gonna be a long drive, so. Oh, yeah, but that's the best part with the family. <laughs> that's true. Oh. Hey, just yeah, just set the rest All of right. the stuff there. That's fine. Thanks, John. Right. Really appreciate the help. Well, what are neighbors for, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sleepyhead. Mr. Gacy's been doing your job for you. Sorry, Dad. Probably a rough night with the ladies, right? So. Where's the Walker family going? Uh, well, actually, uh, we're, we're going to Channel Lake. No, we're not. We're going to Pear Marquette State Park. You know that. Well, both places are great, you know. Uh, Mount Kissimmee, though, they have the best fishing. Really? Oh, yeah, and the hikes at sunset. Unbelievable. Sounds like you've been there often. Oh, yeah, me and my pop used to go there every summer. Oh. It was fantastic. You got no fishing poles. Glad to loan you mine. Oh, no, come on. I wouldn't want to impose. It's okay. Oh, no, 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 it's no, not a problem. I wouldn't at all. want to impose. Come on, neighbor. All right, wouldn't. What do you say, Bobby? Want to do a little fishing? I don't, I don't, um. <laughs> <laughs> That's a yes right there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go grab him. I'll be right back. What is wrong with you? I mean, Chain of Lakes? I mean, we've never been there before. That was a diversion, and you didn't play along. Play along? What are you talking about? I don't want him knowing where we're going. Oh, uh, why? I just don't think he should know our personal business. All right. 
Bobby, look. He's our new neighbor. Is that the way we taught you to act? I mean, let's just give Mr. Gacy the benefit of the doubt and assume that he's just as nice as everyone else on the block. Okay? Sure, Dad. Hey, hey. Don't patronize me, Bobby. Not that. Hey, Bobby, how you been doing? Hey, Mr. Gacy, I've been good. Yeah. I could use your help this week if you got any time. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm busy this week. I'm, I'm sorry. All right. Just let me know when you're available. Will do, Mr. Gacy. All right. I'll catch you later.
Um, Mom, we should, we should, we should really get going. Honey, we haven't even found a gift for Aunt Barbara yet. And there's a store down there that I know will be perfect. Yeah, Mom, I know. It's just, um, um, uh, I have a lot of homework to do, and I really need to go and finish it. Since when do you rush home for homework? Be patient. It'll only take a minute. Come on. Mr. Gacy? Hello, Walker family. What are you doing downtown? Getting some shopping done? Yeah, I actually have plenty to prepare for. Me and the wife are taking a trip this week. <laughs> I actually had nothing to wear. <laughs> it's Bob. How you doing? Uh, it's... It's Bobby. Right, uh, my dad only calls me Bob. Oh, sorry about that, Bobby. Uh, how's school? <laughs> Man, a few words, huh? Bobby, tell Mr. Gacy about your school project. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sure Mr. Gacy does, doesn't want to hear about my schoolwork. No, please, tell me. What are you working on? <laughs> Bobby, what in the world has gotten into you? Anyway, Bobby's doing a construction project for school. He's building a model house. You, um, you do construction, don't you? Sure do. In fact, I just started a company a few months back, PDM Contractors. Bobby, Mr. Gacy could help you with your model house. What do you say? Sure, what do you say, Bob? Come on over, I'll help you out. I got lots of tools, I can do drawings, whatever you need. You know, no, no, I'm fine right now. I, uh, it's, but it's practically finished. What are you gonna do, huh? <laughs> well, anyways, as I said, the missus and I are heading out of town, so if you do need help, better let me know right away. Thanks, John. By the way, tell that husband of yours he's invited to another JC's party next week. Some way, somehow, I'm gonna get that man to join. You are just taking this community by storm, aren't you? You're a busy man. I've actually gotta go, so I will catch you folks later. Okay, well listen, if we don't see you in the neighborhood before you go, have a wonderful trip. Thank you. Why were you so rude? He just rubs me the wrong way. He's a nice man. What has he ever done to you? There's something about him. Okay, let's finish shopping. Come on. So, what are you looking for tonight? A blow? A screw? Oh. <laughs> I, I'm not gay. No? Well, what are you then? Oh, I'm, I'm a lot of things, but I'm not gay. Why are you talking to me? Uh, I don't know. I just want to talk. Well, I'm not really in the talking business. You know, I left my psychology degree in the house. You got money? Yeah, I've got money. You think I'd drive downtown without money? I'm not questioning you. How about I get in the car, drive around for a bit, see what happens? Sure. Why not? So, where are you taking me anyway? Oh, I figured I'd take you back to my house. Your house? But your wife? 
No, no. She's not home. She's in Duluth visiting her mom. do this kind of stuff in a motel. Yeah, this is going to be so much better. You go outside, relax, I got drinks. Oh, I could really use a drink. You don't need to be driving all over town for everything. Just come in here and make yourself at home. Okay, but we're going to be in and out. You want something to drink? What you got? Uh, how's the scotch? Sounds good. Coming right up. Here you go. So, what do you say we get started? You in a rush? Well, I like to get a few tricks in a night, you know, get back on the street, start making some more cash. I don't like to rush, so just relax. What? Yeah, you gotta pay up front. How much you charging me again? Well, since I've already spent all this time playing psychologist, it's 50 for a blow. You said $25. So you do remember. Anyway, that was before I knew I was gonna be spending all this time with you. You know, usually I'm in and out in like five minutes. This is really more like a date. Ugh. Anyway, why, why does your house smell so funny? Doesn't smell funny. It sure does. Guess your wife ain't doing her job. You know what? You sit right here. I'm gonna go get that money. Where did you say you were from? I didn't. Well, where are you from? My dad was in the military. From all over. Probably spent most of my time in Norfolk. Where's your daddy now? Died in Vietnam. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Did you go to Nam? Oh, no, 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 no. They didn't want me. I was too sickly. I had a condition as a kid. What you doing? What you doing in there? What the? Hogan <laughs> wants to play. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> you changed the price. I was in the car, man, not in the suburbs. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, yes. You said it was $25 for a blow. <laughs> for a blow. <laughs> so with the clown get up. You know what? Let's forget about the $25. Start fresh! <laughs> Tell me, do you like tricks? Because I've got a trick for you! <laughs> oh, no! I don't like tricks, I'm good! Too bad! <laughs> what are you doing to me? Help! What are you doing to me? Yeah. I said I don't Too like tricks! Bad. You're doing it anyway! <laughs> We're really disturbed, man! There's a trick to getting out of these cuffs. Do you want to know what it is? <laughs> Do you give up yet? Yes! Yes! I give up! I give up! What's the trick? <laughs> you have to have the key! <laughs> Fucked up, man. No. We have business to attend to. <laughs> no. No. No.
Just relax. It'll be over in a minute. Mr. Gacy. Oh, I'm not Mr. Gacy. I am Pogo the Clown! <laughs> uh, yeah, sure thing, Mr. Gacy. And, um, I'm Captain Kangaroo. Bobby, come on! You'll spoil it for the kids! Have some fun! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Pogo. Um, do you know where your mother is? Because last I checked, she was in the back of her car with a bunch of other clowns. You know, there is something seriously wrong with that guy. What do you mean? I, I, I just know. What do you mean you just know? Like, there's something you aren't telling us. There's been weird things that have been happening late at night. Like what? Well, for starters, one night a few months back, I was in my room and I heard him pull up. So I opened the blinds and there he was. You stayed up all night? Sure did. But what does that prove? That that guy never left his house. Bobby, he could have left when you weren't looking. What? You mean he just he just walked out after Gacy left? Come, come on, that doesn't make any sense. Well, what are you trying to say? Bobby, you've been watching way too many movies. I wasn't convinced either. So I walked out of my house and I, um... You went across the street? I did. Did you go inside? No, but I hopped the fence and I nearly got myself caught. So you snuck into his backyard? If you tell anyone, 
I will make sure that you never talk again. So then what happened to the guy? That's my point. I don't know. He just disappeared and I never saw him again. Bobby, I'm sure he left when you weren't looking. Jessica, come on. I watched that house all night and day. He never left once. You think he killed him? I didn't say that. I said that he just never left. Why didn't you just ask Mr. Gacy? Guys. In your dreams, I killed. In your dreams, I fulfilled. Kill them right there in front of your eyes? What's it like to see someone die? It's really... It's not like the movies. It, it's... It's really sad. I didn't realize how much it would affect me. I think about that man all the time and... my dreams. I thought you thought about girls too. I'm being serious here, all right? I saw a man being murdered and I, I did nothing about it. How do you know he's dead? He might have just passed out and Gacy took him home. Are you going to the police? I don't know. My dad says to always stay out of other people's business. Bobby, going to someone's house doesn't seem like staying out of their business. Yeah, I know. He might already be on to you. Yeah, like, remember at the barbecue? He was already on to you then. What if I go to the police? No. No, no, you, you can't do that. Look, it, it's too dangerous, and they won't believe you anyways. <laughs> I mean, look at Casey. He's got the whole town wrapped around his finger. And if... There's no body, you can't prove anything. I feel like you should just mind your own business and leave him alone. Who says he won't kill you too? Yeah, no, I'm just gonna lay low for a little bit. If anything else happens, you have to go to the police. I don't want anything to happen to you. You guys promise you won't tell anyone? Promise. promise. You guys want to come over to my house? Yeah, you have a swimming pool, right? I do. We can all go swimming, and I'm actually kind of hungry, so. Yeah, same. You guys want to order food? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. You guys see that? I'll see what.
was your neighbor. Did you see his face? Yeah, he looked like he wanted to kill us. Guys, we gotta go. Now, he's coming back. Guys, hurry up, we have to get out of here. He's coming back, guys, hurry up, we gotta go, come on. He's coming back. Go, go. Come on, guys, hurry up, we gotta go, come on. He's coming back. Go, go. In the world are you doing? Mom, I need to talk to you and Dad about something serious. Well, it could be so serious. It's about Gacy, okay? What? Bobby, honey. What the hell are you doing in my house with dirty clothes on? Oh, I'm sorry. I... Stop! I, I was just getting some water to drink. And you thought it would be all right to drag dirt and mud in my home? Oh, Mr. Casey, I, I didn't mean any harm. I would have cleaned up any mess that I made. What is up with the trenches? Tour complete, and I'm starting on the third one now. And you followed my directions again. Sure did. I, I dug the first two east, west, and the east, family west room. east, west, under the living room, not the family room! Isn't the room with the TV the family room? No! That's the living room, dumbass! Oh. Show me what you did. 
And so I believe that he's hiding the bodies under his house. Bobby, that's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Bobby, Mr. Gacy is not a murderer. Come on. Honey, he's president of the JCs. He works with the Democratic Party. I mean, he helps all the neighbors, for goodness sakes. He's Pogo the Clown, for God's that, sakes. That, that's it. What, that he's a clown? No, Daddy. It's all a cover-up. He's, he's playing the nice guy so no one actually pays attention to what he's actually doing. Just please go to the police with me. They won't believe me. I'm, I'm, I'm just a kid. I understand that. But you can't go to the police on a hunch. You have to have proof. And sure I do. I, I saw it with my own eyes. What do you mean you saw it with your own eyes? Well, I... I, I watched him take the boys into the house and they never left. But you didn't see anything. I, I saw him yelling. Well, but you didn't see anything wrong. The man never left. How do you know that? How do you know that they didn't leave when you fell asleep? Or when you were in school? You don't know? You can't just go around accusing people of murder, Bobby. It's too serious. They never leave. How do you know that? You've got to believe me. It's not that we don't believe you. It's just that we're adults. And adults can't go around accusing other adults of serious crimes without evidence. Sit down. Sit down. All right, look. How about we keep an eye on him? Your mom and I will watch him carefully. Keep a close eye on what he's up to. He's just leaving. No, 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 no. that's Kevin's car! Kevin's car? I, I, yeah, uh, Kevin, the, the, the guy who's helping him uh, dig the trenches in the house. Okay, why is he driving Kevin's car? Well, because he killed him and he's dropping his car off somewhere. Or maybe he's dropping Kevin's body off somewhere. That's right, Dad, now you're thinking. Or maybe Kevin's body's in the trunk. How do you think he's planning on getting home from that so-called dumping site? Exactly. Well, okay. Funny. Oh, oh, honey, honey, come, on, come buddy. back. You gotta look at this from Bobby. our perspective. Teenagers. Oh my gosh, they have such wild imaginations. <laughs> what are you guys still doing up? Hey, buddy. We couldn't sleep. <sighs> Gacy? Yeah. Your dad saw him come walking. I came to tell you guys. See, I, I told you something was wrong. Right, Dad? Yeah, well, things did seem a little out of the ordinary. I mean, he didn't leave in Kevin's car. Then he came walking home. You have to admit, that is pretty unusual. OK, listen. We don't want you getting in any trouble, so you stay away from Mr. Gacy until your dad and I figure out what's going on here, okay? I'm gonna go to the police in the morning, let them know our situation. In the meantime, let me handle this, okay? You got it? Yeah, of course.
Thanks for coming in, Mr. Wolf. Thanks for seeing me. I appreciate it. I uh, understand uh, there's something you want to discuss. Um, yeah, well, I just thought it was my civic duty to bring to your attention some of the really strange things that my family and I have been seeing across the street from our house. Strange things across the street? Yeah. It's our neighbor. Domestic disturbance? You know, that's pretty common now. 90% of all the calls I get are husbands beating up on their wives and fathers coming home stressed from work and taking it out on their children. Yeah, well, this is a little bit more sinister than that. More sinister than that, huh? I'm all ears, Mr. Walker. Ah, must be Dad. Bobby. Dad would not be knocking. Hello, Mrs. Walker. Bobby. I'm sorry to intrude so early in the morning. I somehow managed to cut my phone line while digging trenches under my house. Do you think I can use your phone? Oh. Well, I'm... I'm, uh... Um, are you sure that your phone is not working? Yeah, I'm pretty certain. I just, I need to call the phone company to get them out here to fix it. Um, I, I just can't take a chance on missing any phone calls this morning. Right. If that's a problem, I can go to the Donnelly's next door. No, uh, come on in. Our phone is in the kitchen and uh, let, let me show you where it I is. I know where it is. I've been here many times now. Of course you have. Um, so what kind of ditches are you uh, digging in your, under your house? I didn't say ditches, actually. I said trenches, trenches, Mrs. Walker. Uh, they're for drainage. Drainage? Yeah, um, you know, maybe I can dig some for Howard as well. You know, with the water table so high out here, whenever it rains, it's like a lake under my house. Oh, I see. Yeah. Huh. Do, do you mind? Oh, no. Go right ahead. Um, I'll just be in here. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Hey, Bobby. Darlene. The detective Shh. said that. It's, yeah, I uh, what? cut the phone line under my house. Yeah, well, it was an accident. Look, I just yes, to Howard. Out here to fix Mr. Gacy I know needed to borrow a phone. Right? He what accidentally cut his phone line. Now, now hurry, just what was I supposed to do? A simple no would have been just fine. Hello, Howard. Oh, hey. Hey, John. How are you? <laughs> I've been better. Yeah. The wife said that uh, I guess you cut your phone lines or something like yeah, that. Sure yeah, sure did. Pretty moronic of me, right? You know, it was just one of those things I realized it right as it was happening. Mm. You know, the shovel went into the dirt and it was too late. Yeah, well, these things happen. So, um, are, are they coming to, to fix your phone line? Yeah, sometime today. They said they're backed up. You know, it's a phone company. Damn bureaucracies. Yeah, sure. Is everything all right? Uh, I thought I heard you say something about a detective. Yeah, no, um, that's just uh, my dad seeing if there's a detective who can uh, speak at my school. Oh, yeah, sure. I'd be glad to come and talk to the kids about being a contractor if you like. Oh, gosh, that's, that's a great idea. You know, I could talk to your teachers at school about that. Great. Well, now I should really get back to work. All right. By the way, Bobby, if you want some cash, I could really use your help. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't. Yeah, Bobby, you could learn more about the construction trade. Yeah, yeah, I, I sure will do, and Mr. Gacy. It's, I don't have the time this week, you know. Yeah, he has been so busy with summer camp and mm -hmm. everything. Oh, yeah. Sure, I understand. Well, just let me know, all right? I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you folks later. Let me get that for you. Thank you. Just let me know if you need to use the phone again. Will do. Oh. Okay. Okay. So what did the police say? Well, the police said we need a warrant. But they can't get a warrant without reasonable suspicion. Isn't burying bodies under his house suspicious enough? Bobby, 
All we've seen is strange behavior. It's not enough for the police to act on. Is there more to the story, Bobby? What else do you know? Did Mr. Gacy touch you? He didn't, he didn't touch me, he... Bobby, what are you not telling us? Bobby! Bobby. <sighs> Howard, are you sure yeah. about this? I'll be fine, okay? We need proof. Just remember, Dad. He tried to knock me off. I'll be fine. At least I'll know where he is. Okay? What if he doesn't go out tonight? He goes out every Friday night. That's what you said, he's a creature of habit. Creature of habit. Yep. See? Just like clockwork. Be careful, Howard. I'll be careful. Okay? I gotta go. Okay. Okay? All right?
Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I, but I lost him. You lost him? Yeah, I, I lost him in the city. Too much traffic. Are you coming home? Yeah, I'm on my way home now. How's Bobby? Is he staying put? Yeah, yeah, he's in his room. Okay, I'll be home in about an hour. Okay, be careful. I love you. I love you too. Just go to people's houses. I want to try it. Much more comfortable. More of a motel guy, I guess. I never did a motel. You know, I just don't think it would feel right. Here, I've got drinks, got my comfortable couch. I think you're gonna love it. You know, I bet you it's gonna change how you do things from now on. Come on. Come on in, come on in. Like the new house? Just got set up. I searched for years and years to find this particular bottle. Finally found it. So, I think it's incredible. Oh, you're gonna love this scotch. Here we go. Here you go. Man, I'm not doing nothing until I see some cash. Come on, boy. I told you I got plenty of money. All right? First, let's just see what you got. Look, like, I, I just, I don't want to waste any, I don't want to waste my time. Waste of time? You didn't just call me a waste of time, did you? You're not a waste of time. I just don't want to waste any of my time. I, I'm not interested if there's no money involved. Nice home, my average liquor. You are not going anywhere. Get your hands off me. No, we'll just have some fun, all right? Please, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. We'll have some more. Get your alcohol. fucking hands off Shh. of me. Shh. You were gonna wake the neighbors. If you cared about the neighbors, you would never have had me over in the first place. Get the fuck off of me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Could have had a real good time if you hadn't been in such a hurry to leave. Are you, are you crazy? What are you doing under that house, Bobby? I got evidence. I got evidence. 
camera. I need my camera. I need my camera. Whoa, 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 what is going on? Hey, hey, keep it down. Keep it down. I need, I need keep it down. Camera. Keep it. No, get in the house. Get in the house. I need my camera. Get, it. get in the house. Get in the house. What is going on? That, 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 no, he, he. He's doing it. He's killing all the kids, and and he, 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 the, 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 the bodies are underneath the basement. I saw it with my own eyes, and I left my camera in that, and that's the only proof we whoa, have. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're not going anywhere. You've caused enough trouble already. Did, what? What are you talking about? I did nothing wrong. You just can't stop meddling, can you? Leave it alone. I, I've had enough. What? What are you doing, Howard? I'm taking the law into my own hands. No, no, you don't know what you're saying. Howard, you can't do that. No, no, Howard, do not lower yourself to his level. You can't do that. We'll call the police. Just let us call the police. And what about all those kids he killed? How many other people do you think are underneath his house? That doesn't mean that, that you can take the law into your own hands. We'll call the police. Howard, we'll just call the police. Someone's here. Someone's at the door. Bobby, Bobby. It's him. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Go, go to the bedroom, Bobby. both of you. Go to the bedroom, now. Go, now. Who is it? Uh, John from across the street. Hi, John. Hey, Howard. You okay? Sure, why? You don't look so good. No, I'm, I'm fine. How can I help you? I'm sorry to come by so late. I was just wondering if you might have a spare bottle of wine. Wine? Yeah. I have a date tonight. You know, it's my first one since the wife left me. I thought it might be nice to, you know, bring some wine along. You know, you're such a classy guy. I thought you might have something on hand. Um, yeah, yeah, hold on a moment. Red, 1968, Sonoma County. Can't beat that. I'm not a professional, but this sure does look like a nice blood red. Oh, you can't go wrong with a rouge like that. <laughs> what do I owe you? I, nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's all yours. Thank you. Jeez. Yeah, you, you, you have a good night. Oh, I certainly will. Appreciate it. He just wanted a bottle of wine. So I gave him a blood red bottle of wine. And you just let him go? Just stop with the nonsense, Bobby. Just stop it. Dad, he's a murderer! Bobby, just, just stop already. All right, I followed him all night. There was, there was nothing, absolutely nothing. And he shows up on the front porch dressed like a political candidate. Dad. Running for office. There's nothing wrong. Mom, can you just? Honey. Honey, please. Are you doing drugs with your friends? What? Yeah, because I know what hallucinogenics will do to your mind. We Mom, are all getting a little bit carried away here. Now, I have never actually seen Mr. Gacy do anything illegal. Yeah, you might have a pension for young men, but it's not illegal. Dad, Dad I, I, was, I went to the crawl space on the side of his house, and, and there's dead bodies in there right now as we speak. Stop, and Bobby, I, just stop it. I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Howard, there is something going on Darlene, over there. now you're searching for skeletons? Okay, now, don't you talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. Let's just all go to bed, okay? 
let's just let's just all go to sleep, okay? You go take a shower, because you're filthy. And if you ever go over to Mr. Gacy's house again uninvited, I will take away all of your privileges. Look at me. Do you hear me? I'm not. smell real nice. <laughs> oh, you left your camera under my house. Oh, come on. I've got something real special to show you. Yes, this is Howard Walker. Hi, how are you? Detective Carlson, yeah. I apologize for calling you so late. I just wanted to let you know that we got a uh, tip. That connects John Wayne Gacy to uh, a 19-year-old murder. And uh, we're pretty sure he's responsible for that, possibly more. Bobby's right. Well, thanks for calling, Detective. Sure, and I apologize again for calling you so late. Yeah, it's, it's quite all right. Mr. Walker. Do me a favor, sir. Stay in until at least sunrise. You thank you, detective. Bobby? 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 Howard! Howard, Howard, look at this. Look at the floor. He was dragged away. Oh, God. Bobby!
Bobby! Bobby, I know you can hear me, Bobby. Bobby! Don't you, don't you think? I was always good to you, I was wasn't I? Was <laughs> Come on, Bob. You always have a comeback. <laughs> What's the matter now? Are you afraid of clowns? <laughs> You're gonna like this. In your dream. Get in. Get in. Bobby! 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 Are you a sad clown now? Oh, You know, you're about as bad as this poor guy. Well, no, something's missing. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's better. Yes, now you look so good. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 o
tricks because <laughs> I got a good one and you know what I bet you'll never figure out how it's done <laughs> Ta -da! handcuffs regular old handcuffs <laughs> hey hold on you're ruining the setup mm. <laughs> ha, there we go now you know how to get handcuffs off? Hmm? Oh, yeah. You give up? Well, you have to use the key, dumbass! Hey, come here. Don't you just love the suburbs? <laughs> the neighbors washing your car in the driveway. The cookouts. Ooh. Kids on their bikes. Yeah. Hot dogs, balloons. The puppies. You gotta love the puppies. <laughs> Bobby! You've seen this before, haven't you? <laughs> I knew you were watching. <laughs> I could smell you from a mile away. <laughs> you always did smell particularly good to me. <laughs> Bobby! Ah, damn it. Bobby? That is the one big problem with the suburbs. There's always some jackass knocking on your front door. Bobby! Go away and don't Dad. come back. Dad. We don't want any. <laughs> oh, he's never going to find us. This room has no doors. You can only get in here if you know the secret. <laughs> oh, I love this part. <laughs> Soon enough, you'll just slip off into unconsciousness. Then I'll do with you as I please. Oh, you are determined, Howard. <laughs> Thank you, Walkers, for a great time. I'll miss you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bobby!